mosaic of diversity and inclusion that we represent on this demonstration today. We are the living embodiment of what a democratic society is about, where people come together not to exploit their differences, but to share the joy of learning something from each other and from each other's experiences that others may not go through the hardship that so many have gone through to bring about some of the social changes we've achieved. And so, in welcoming visitors from the United States, I hope there can be a conversation I am not, absolutely not, refusing to meet anybody. I want to be able to have that dialogue to bring about the better and more peaceful world that we all want to live in. But I am very disappointed, particularly today on the wonderful festival of Eid that our Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has been attacked in the way that he has. I am proud that our city has a Muslim Mayor, that we can chase down Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, any form of racism within our society, because racism divides, exploitation of minorities divides, exploitation of minorities brings about hatred, dislike, disdain, and a horrible place for individuals to live in. When you've created that sense of hate, when you've destroyed people's self-esteem by those forms of racism, do you know what? You haven't built a house, you haven't built a school, you haven't trained a nurse, you haven't defended our natural world. All you've done is created a greater sense of hate and hatred that goes with it. So, we as a community and people have to work together to bring about that different world. We're in the midst of a debate about the future of our relationship between Britain and Europe and the rest of the world. The basis of that debate should surely be that we encourage the protection of jobs and living standards and public services and reach out to people all across the world. But it should not be, it should not be a debate about how we go forward with no deal at the same time as offering up, offering up our precious, wonderful National Health Service to private American companies to come in and take it over. We will not stand for that. We will fight with every last breath of our body to defend the principle of a healthcare system free at the point of need for everybody as a human right. In the same way, many colleagues from my party, my shadow cabinet and parliamentary group that are here today are proud to put forward the same principle for an education system based on the right to learn and the right to know, not the ability to be able to buy it from somebody else. It is about the kind of world we want to live in. There is a refugee crisis around the world. There are 65 million people across the globe who have no place to call their own as home. They're living as internal exiles in some countries. They're living in refugee camps or they're undertaking perilous journeys to try to reach a place of safety. 65 million is more than at any time in recorded history there have been displaced people on this globe. Can we stop treating people who travel for a place of safety, escape from oppression, from climate, in, climate change induced degradation, or economic poverty to try to make their contributions to the world, 
don't treat them as enemies, treat them as fellow human beings and citizens of this planet who deserve our support, our sympathy and our understanding.